Dom. Hello, how are you today? Very good, how are you? I'm excellent. Just heard you're the hottest thing in YouTube for long hair, so... Did you hear that, actually? Oh yeah, I guess I did. I'll take that compliment. <laughs> By the way, you're looking good today. Thanks, I'll take that compliment too. It doesn't take much to look expensive. This outfit was probably only 90 bucks. Check out my cheap outfit video for that. <laughs> uh, what can I do for you today? You got time for a few questions? Uh, absolutely, with you, anything. Thank you want to come in? Please. All right, cool. So tell, tell me, mm. why'd you grow out your hair in the first place? I was bored of the disconnected undercut. I just needed something new and growing it all out was gonna be the thing because I have been attracted to long hair for a while, but yeah, and then I went through with it. Number one product for hair you can't live without. Oh, my Behave Leading Cream. That's actually, I didn't even have to think about that. Is it okay to wear a man bun with a five head? Oh, that's a risky one because uh, a man bun can make your head look taller. So if you've got a five head, uh, it can even elongate your face more. You're better off going with something that covers it up a little bit. <laughs> How can I grow my hair faster? Do a lot of research and test everything. That's what I did. What's your wash routine for long, healthy hair? Ooh. Well, I wash once a week and then as soon as I get out of the shower, I just put my leave-in conditioner in and I'm good. How long does it take to grow a top knot into a bun? How long's a piece of string? <laughs> Everyone's different. Is it even worth growing it out? Yes, absolutely. Do you want to see the master room? Yes, please. Lex, it's not my room, but Lex and Tom were like, you can show us the house. <laughs> oh, by the way, I just moved in here. Do you like my house? Oh, I love it. Okay. What's is, the next question? Is long hair a journey or destination? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I would say it's definitely a journey. I had a destination in mind when I was starting to grow it out, but then after a while, I kind of went, the longer it gets, the more I love it. <laughs> Why do sides grow faster than the top? Do they? I didn't realize that they did. Have you considered minoxidil to up your beard gains? Mm, no, I haven't. I have considered it using it on my scalp though. Uh, not for beard though. What's your three favorite hair products to use? Oh, it would be Behave Leaving Cream, Flaxseed Gel, and a hair tie. If you could only pick one to go away, which would you pick up and why? Oh. It would be a hair tie because without a hair tie, I look like the crazy cat lady from The Simpsons. <laughs> how Unfortunately. Would you, how would you com combat too much volume? People don't like it when I say this, but I would say get the thinning scissors or get the hairdresser to use the thinning scissors. That's the only thing that's really helped me sort of debulk my hair in the past. What's your thought on using pomade when, you, when doing your man bun? Good. I love it. It's really good for um, getting rid of flyaways, actually. It's one of my favorite things. How do you plan on growing out your hair? How long do I plan on growing it? Yes, how long? I don't know, I'm on a journey. <laughs> Is it okay to take pills for faster hair growth? Mm, yes. Which one? <laughs> That's the thing, <laughs> none of them. Every pill that I've tried, never gotten anywhere with it, so. My hair is all different lengths. Where do I start with growing it out? Wherever you want, man. It depends what you're comfortable with. I started with, you know, like probably eight inches on top of my hair and then started growing it out. And that was tough, the Krusty the Clown phase, but it's really what you're comfortable with. If you're more comfortable with growing it out evenly, do that. It's your discretion. Should I grow out my hair when I'm actually losing it? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't discourage you from growing it out, but I think you should definitely go and look at why it's falling out or why you're losing it. I killed my hair with dye. Should I do a treatment or shave it? Uh, it depends how damaged you've done it. If you've used bleach and then dye, then depending on how fried it is, you might have to cut it all off. But if you've only been dyeing it, I'd say a rebonding treatment would be pretty good for that. When are you going to dye your hair? Never. <laughs> I've been through this so much. Okay. So let's say your hair started growing in a different color. Mm -hmm. What would it be? Light blue. How would you style super messy hair during the awkward stage? Ooh. Hair straightener, lots of bobby pins, and slicking it back. Should you cut your hair once in a while during the growing out? Mm, it depends on what you're doing with it. If you're straightening it a lot and using a lot of heat products, then yes. If not, no. Why would you need to? You just have to keep it healthy with, you know, moisturizing products. How often do you, condition, do you use conditioner shampoo? Once a week. People find that so weird, but like my hair never gets oily, so why would I need to? <laughs> Best products for straight, frizzy hair. Ooh, argan oil for sure.
Good hairstyles for guys with thick hair. Disconnected undercut and a man bun. Disconnect undercut because you can keep the side short and use the volume on top. And then a man bun because when it's crazy and unruly and you can't be bothered, you can just tie it up. How to do a slick back without hairspray? Easy, just use pomade. Best shade of brown to dye men's long hair? Um, my brown. <laughs> Is it beneficial to trim your hair if it's already long? Yes. If you, like, I'm due for a trim right now, and it's been about five months, so I'm, like, even overdue. But, yes, definitely do it, because once you get to, like, the fully grown out stage, you kind of want to play with it more and use more, like, things on it. So, it's very important. Do you get annoyed when people ask when you're growing up, when you're, oh, sorry? Do yeah. people get annoyed when people ask? Do I get annoyed when people ask? Yes, do you, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's okay. My paper fell. Do you get annoyed when people ask when you're growing to cut your hair? When I'm growing to cut my hair? Going to cut your hair. Oh, right. Uh, not really. People in real life don't ask me that. It's usually only like haters on YouTube and I'll usually roll my eyes and just ignore the comment. And I guess I'd probably do the same thing in real life. What's your opinion on gi about gingers and their hair? I love gingers, actually. I heard, I don't know if it's a rumor or not, but they're like a dying breed. They're like going extinct. And I didn't like that because gingers are cool. What are other men thinking about your long hair? Mm, damn, how do I get that? I don't know. <laughs> Read my comments. For a man bun, should the back be the same length as the top? Depends if you plan on wearing it out. If you have no intention of wearing it out, it doesn't really matter. But if you want to wear like a side swoop or something like that, then yeah, back shorter, front longer. Um, looks really cool, I reckon. Does your hair get poofy when you brush it? Absolutely, and you're never going to see it. Although, that might make a good video idea. <laughs> what my hair looks like when it's brushed. <laughs> Have you ever trimmed your own hair? Fuck no. I would, wouldn't even dream of it. How did you stay motivated during the growing out process? With great difficulty. No, you know what? Uh, I did a couple of videos about this and it was more just about uh, keeping the end goal in the front of your mind because yeah, that's all that really got me there. And through all the shit stages, I kind of just went, whatever, I know what I'm working for. And voila. Go to style for long hair? This one. How to maintain good hair during the summer? That's a really hard one to answer. Usually maintaining long hair in summer for me would just be man bun, lots of flaxseed gel to hide the flyaways because it's so bloody cupid. <laughs> Best thing you've learned throughout your hair growth journey? Patience is a virtue that you need for it that I didn't have eventually, or eventually, initially, but ended up growing. Do you ever get split ends? Do I ever get split ends? Yes. Um, every now and again, but because I get trimmed like fairly regularly, no. Do you have any desire to replicate the look of Dimebag Daryl? No. <laughs> Do you use any oils or extracts to keep your hair healthy? Yes, I use Behave Riot Control Oil for smoothness and it actually makes it smell really good. And I also have an Argan Oil from Davro, which is also a really nice one. How do I know if my hair is fit to be long? Um, I don't know what you mean. How did you look good in the awkward stage? And lots of bobby pins, <laughs> lots of straightener, lots of caps. <laughs> Can you donate your hair if you dye it? I've heard that you can't actually. If you donate treated hair, they reject it. So, yeah. Did you ever go through the growth phase? Sorry. That's all Did right. you ever go through a no growth phase on your journey? Multiple times. I think maybe five of my check-ins. I was like, it is not growing. Actually, the most recent one, even. I was like, what is this? Now I'm about to get a trim. I felt ripped off. Should guys with thin hair grow it out? Absolutely. It'll make it look like there's more. The barber fucked my hair up. Should I cut it or keep it growing? No. Oh, ask for a refund and keep growing. Definitely. Can, Sorry. <laughs> can you rinse your hair every day? Do you mean like rinse or wash? It says rinse, right? Yes, rinse. Oh, okay. Um, well, I rinse my hair every day. I have a shower. I wet it. So I, I would class that as rinsing. So yes, but washing, no. Best long hairstyle for oval shaped face. Pretty much any of them. I have an oval face shape. <laughs> I have an oval face shape, and I did a bit of research online. And bespokeunit.com they had like a whole face shape chart, which I thought was very cool. And the oval face shape is the most fortunate. Most hairstyles work with it. My family's against me growing out my hair. What do I do? Oh, 
just remind them gently that they're restricting you from exploring your individuality and they should zip it. <laughs> how does your hair have to be, to, how long does your hair have to be to tie it up? From memory, about seven inches will get you there. How long is your hair currently? Just under 17 inches, but I'm about to trim it, so. How do you apply anti-dandruff shampoo with long hair? Start with the roots and work it out to the ends because that's where it's most important to get rid of dandruff, obviously. At one point, does your hair grow out? Oh my gosh, out of the Lord Farquaad phase. <laughs> out of the Lord Farquaad stage? Well, probably for about, I think at stage nine or 11, somewhere in between there, I started getting like, oh cool, I can work with this. I got a trim, but I can't really get a bun now. What do I do? Slap the hairdresser and also ask for a refund. <laughs> do you still need to actively straighten your hair now that it's long? Yes, absolutely. Actually, the longer it gets, the more I want to play with it. So the more I'm straightening it and using flat iron curls, every now and again a blow dryer, even though that does really contribute to the puff. When are you getting that damn Lord undercut? Oh, stop pressuring me. <laughs> I, um, I don't know yet. I, th literally, the longer it gets, the more attached I get to it. So it will happen eventually, but I don't know. I have about 10 split ends. Should I trim it or just leave it? Mm, pull them out. You can do without them. How do you prevent split ends? Uh, keep it healthy, get regular trims, and when you see them, just act straight away. Best tip to make hair smoother? Keratin treatment, for sure. What is the best treatment for brittle long hair? Oh, um, any sort of rebonding treatment, I think, would be really good for that. I think uh, Behave also have a good one called the Deep Intense Conditioning Mask, which I use every time after I will straighten or flat iron and it always brings it back up to a nice looking health. Does brushing your hair help with its hair growth? I have heard it does, but you need to get the bristles. Oh, door. Uh, you have to get the bristles to the scalp and yeah, I haven't really tested it or like can prove that it works. How do you slow down shedding? No idea, Google it. <laughs> if you accidentally singed your hair, how would you fix it? I would turn the heat on my lighter down so I didn't do it again. And I would uh, just assess the damage and go from there. Do you apply a hair mask on damp or dry hair? Damp, for sure. Can you show us your ugliest pair of socks? Yes, I was about to sit down, but sure, I can do that. Mm, sorry, really personal question here. Yeah. Best thing about having long hair? I can do this. <laughs> so dramatic. I'm meeting my girlfriend's parents and I'm in the awkward stage. What do I do? Okay. Well, if you know you're already like a little bit uncomfortable with how you look, they're probably going to look at you and think the same thing. Let's be real. Um, my advice would be to go, just go along with it. And if you can embrace that and go, yeah, I agree. I look shit. They'll probably love you for your honesty. And if they don't, dump the girl. How are the socks looking? Let me see. So I have two pairs of socks that are pretty weird. I've got these goldfish ones. They're pretty quirky. I haven't worn them in a, ooh, haven't worn them in a while, actually. Um, and I've also got these rainbow ones. These are brand new ones. Got a story behind it? They were like a brand deal that I didn't want to take on because it didn't fit. <laughs> it didn't fit my image. Sorry I asked. That's all right. How do you deal with the awkward curls at the back? Um, a straightener and bobby pins. What's the best tip for frizz? Keratin treatment. What do you say to people who make fun of your long hair? Fuck off. <laughs> well, with that happy gesture, yes, <laughs> I think I'm really done with all my questions. Beautiful. How many was that? I'm pretty sure it's 73. Hmm. Where have I seen that before? <laughs> totally original. Yeah, cool. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much for coming over. Is there any? Do you want to go and get lunch together? Oh, you want? I'm a bit hungry. Let's go get some. Yeah, I could do with some grilled and a low carb bun. Keep that body fat percentage down. Oh. Um, all right, thanks. Um, we can cut now. <laughs>